Hi everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here. It is a good day to have a good day. We are doing social studies today. We are learning about families and trade. So we're going to be learning all about what that means. I hope you read along with me as we go through here and collect all of our rev coins. I'm so excited to see how many we end up with. All right, let's go ahead. So families and trade part one. Trade helps families get the things they need. At markets, people can exchange money or other goods for the things they need. These pictures show markets in Nicaragua. So here's a family here. These two pictures over here are what they're talking about in Nicaragua. You can see is right over here on this map. Grab our points. Ooh, 330. All right, so we have five pictures here. I think if I click it, will it get bigger? Nice, wonderful. Five pictures here. So picture number one says, this family grows vegetables. They have more vegetables than they need. Okay, so this family works on a farm maybe, or has a farm on their home, I mean. Um, they grow vegetables for themselves. They end up growing more than what they need. Number two here. Let me exit that. Wonderful. They take the extra vegetables to a market and sell them. So they already have what they need. They don't want to waste anything, so just go to the market and sell them. Picture number three here. They use some of the money to buy cloth to make clothes for the family. Number four over here, they use some of the money to buy rice and meat. Maybe not something that they can grow themselves, right? Five, they save the money that is left. Soon they will have enough money to buy a new roof for their house. So this whole page just took us through a story about what this family does for work and how they support themselves. It's so wonderful. Grab these coins. Nice. Go to the next. All right, this page is all about something called scarcity. Scarcity. Can you be my echo? Scarcity. Wonderful, awesome job. So scarcity isn't like a scare city. It's not like the um, Monsters, Inc. city. Scarcity is not having enough of something like food or water. Okay, millions of people around the world do not have enough food to eat or clean water to drink. So we use the word scarcity when we're talking about something that's hard to find, right? So if you're in the desert, water is scarce. Okay, there's none of it in the desert. It's very, very, very hard to find. Grab these coins. Awesome. Spending money. Many families do not have enough money to buy everything that they need. They have to make difficult choices about how to spend their money. Right, so if I, I don't know. Yeah, this one's kind of a hard example to talk about. But let's say that, you know, I have a hundred dollars in my pocket. Am I going to spend my hundred dollars on maybe dog food for Jake and food for myself? Or should I go get a new switch and play Animal Crossing? It's not a hundred dollars, but it's just an example. All right, this page is called People Depend on Each Other. People depend on each other. Some things people need only come from certain parts of the world. Many important medicines come from the rainforests in Central and South America. 
So we depend on each other. We have to work together to make sure everybody gets what they need, right? This brings us right to food banks. Many people in the U.S. are trying to help families who don't have enough food. Cities all over the U.S. have food banks. Food banks give free food to families who do not have enough money to buy everything they need. So sometimes these are also called food pantries. Um, they, we have food drives for the pantry at St. Peter's Church. When? Like during Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, that's a really, really big one. Um, yeah, like we learned from the last slide, people depend on each other, you know? we got to help each other out. All right, let's fill in the blanks. So our vocab words, our important words from this week, this week, not this week, this families in trade part of social studies, medicines, scarcity, trade, food banks, and depend. Start with number one. And number one says, help, blank, helps families get the things they need. Blank helps families get the things they need. If I can give you kind of a cool teacher trick here, um, something I like to do is think about how would I spell this word. I know that sounds kind of weird, but hear me out. This word is right at the start of a sentence. What is something that the first letter of a word that starts a sentence needs. Right, a capital. So I'm going to ignore medicines and depend for now because I know that those aren't going to be the answers here. My answer starts with an uppercase letter or a capital letter, I mean. Um, do you know the vocab word that goes there? a little tricky you might say food banks because they do help families get the things they need but the answer here is actually trade trade helps families get the things they need you can trade um vegetables for i don't know cake you could trade things for things or you could trade money for things right we trade all the time when we go to the grocery store Number two here. Number two says blank is not having enough of something like food or water. You can use that same trick here. Blank is not having enough of something like food or water. Do you know what the vocab word is that goes there? Awesome. The word that goes there is scarcity. Remember we talked about how the word scarcity means there's not enough of it. Oh, I mean, I guess we just talked about it being that sentence. <laughs> yeah. All right. So number one was trade. Number two is scarcity. Number three, people around the world blank on each other. It's going to be medicines on each other. Nope. It's going to be depend on each other. Wonderful. So number four and five should be pretty easy for us, but we'll just go ahead and read through those sentences anyway. Many important medicines come from the rainforests in Central and South America. And then number five, food banks give free food to families who do not have enough money to buy everything they need. Wonderful. Grab these coins. 360. Insane. Find and color. So I don't really feel like grabbing a crayon and trying to draw my laptop on the screen right now, and I'm sure you don't too. Definitely please don't do that. So we're just going to go to this slide really, really quick. That slide? No. That slide? No. This slide. It took me a minute. Remember, Nicaragua is right here. So I'm going to go back to find in color. Nicaragua is right here. Wonderful. If I was going to use my favorite color to fill in Nicaragua, I would use green. 
365. Wonderful. Cool. And now the last activity is to write the words in ABC order on the lines below. The lines aren't below, the lines are right across. But we'll just go ahead and do it anyway. So, what do you think comes first? Families or food? They both start with an F. You're right, families would come first because we go from F to the next letter, which is A. We go F to the next letter, which is O. What comes first in the alphabet? A or O? You're right, it's A. So families would be over here, then it would be food. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, M. Money would be next. Q, R, S for scarcity. T for trade. Wonderful. Cool. We collected all of our coins. I'm so super happy you were here with me. As we were talking about families and trade, we are moving on to a different topic, our next social studies lesson, I think, I believe. If you look at the lesson planning chart I put up on our um, website. So yeah, I hope you had fun learning about families and trade. We're going to be talking a little bit more about this, even though we're going to be moving on to a different topic. All right. I love you a lot. I miss you a bunch and I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.